Good morning, folks. Hopefully you remember this large earthquake in Russia from two weeks ago. Hopefully you remember we hadn't had a big earthquake in a few weeks, and right at the same time that earthquake happened, particle flux was peaking, both protons and electrons, and we had the Moon and Venus conjoined in the sky. Well, folks, we didn't have any big earthquakes all last week, but if you were paying attention, you know that I was pointing you towards this weekend for two reasons. First, because we were supposed to have some solar activity impact the Earth at that same time, and we were supposed to have two significant alignments, Saturn and Venus uh, lining up in opposition, and Mars on the opposite side of the Sun. Now, we did have these two big earthquakes, a 6.9 in the Southwest Pacific, and just a few hours ago, we had a 6.1 in Salta, Argentina, but we're not done yet with both solar activity and alignments. In two days, we're going to have the moon lining up with the Earth and Sun in a full moon, March 8th, two days later. The moon is at its closest point to the Earth for the month. That's called perigee. Two days after that, March 12th, 13th, and even a bit into the 14th, Venus and Jupiter are going to be conjoining up in the sky, which should be beautiful and hopefully uh, not too significant in terms of Earth changes. But it's not just alignments we have in the coming days, folks. Solar activity is supposed to be high as well. We have this dark coronal hole, and it's going to be putting out a fast, charged-up solar wind stream that is going to be striking our magnetosphere in the coming days. Now, let's take a look at this big solar active region that we've had our eye on uh, for a while. Now, that solar active region that popped up just to the right of it actually interacted with the magnetics of that bigger sunspot and caused the M flare that occurred pretty much at the time that the two-minute news was ending yesterday or being published to YouTube. Well, that's, uh, that big M flare did put out a coronal mass ejection, and as you can see, here on the CME Evolution Endless Spiral, it is expected to deliver a glancing blow to Earth. But folks, that wasn't done yet. Around 7.30 last night, uh, Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m., NOAA labeled uh, 11429 Beta Gamma Delta, which is the most dangerous uh, classification. Now that means you have both polarities in one sunspot. Now when you look here, we can see a strong uh, division between the blue and the red over there on the right side. Now there's a chance that that division bisects one of the actual sunspots. Even if that delta spot has degraded, it is still beta gamma and very dangerous. Just a few hours after they called it beta gamma, we had the X flare and another coronal mass ejection. By all accounts, the particle flux is really, really working, both the electrons and the protons, whether you're looking at ACE or GOES. Actually, on the GOES protons here, you can see that we're not too far away from having a solar radiation storm. That's the dotted line. According to NOAA and NASA, both the coronal mass ejections are going to be hitting Earth in the coming days, from the M flare yesterday morning and the X flare last night. Another thing we're going to add to this topic, folks, a lot of you have been asking me about that video, the kill shot, talking about the sun. A lot of you know we've already had the shot across the bow, a lot of other uh, signs, and one of the last ones we see, or we're supposed to see, is a nuclear bomb going off in Korea. I personally thought it was going to be something more overt worldwide, but it could be something covert like that. So folks, that's what's going on. We have some planetary alignments these coming days, and we've got some significant space weather. Two coronal mass ejections are coming at us. We have that coronal hole stream, and actually just in the southern hemisphere below that big spot, we have a solar active region that appears to be erupting as I'm talking to you. We'll have to wait and get video on that. So that's the news, folks. Quake Watch continues. Let's be watching the sun. Be safe.